April 23rd, St. Adelbert of Prague. Adelbert was born in the year 956 to an illustrious family of Bohemia. In childhood, he was taken by a fatal illness, and his parents made a vow to the Holy Virgin to offer him to the priesthood if he would be cured. Their prayers were answered, and the boy recovered his health. They sent their son to Magdeburg to the saintly Archbishop of Magdeburg, who oversaw his education in religion and science. In the year 973, he received holy orders from the Bishop of Prague. Later, this bishop died a bad death, screaming in despair on his deathbed that he would be condemned for his negligence to his duties and ardent pursuit of honors, wealth, and pleasure. A witness to this sad end, Adelbert never forgot it, taking it as a lesson for the rest of his life. The next year, he was chosen as Bishop of Prague. He entered Prague barefoot and was joyfully received by the people. The diocese was in a deplorable situation. Some of its inhabitants were still idolaters, and many Catholics were well entrenched in shameful vices. In vain, St. Adelbert tried to correct them and to bring them to religion and piety. When his efforts proved fruitless, he obtained papal permission to leave the episcopate and enter a monastery in Rome. After five years, Pope John the Fifteenth sent him back to Prague with the provision that he could again leave the episcopate if the people did not correspond. A second time he was received joyfully, and the people promised to correct themselves and leave their heathen practices. These hasty promises were soon forgotten, however, and the saint determined to abandon them forever and return to his monastery. On his way back to Rome, he met with a great success in Hungary, where he converted many to Catholicism. With this, the Pope ordered him not to come to Rome, but to return to Prague. At this news, the elites of Prague became enraged and killed many relatives of the saint, stole his belongings, and burned the family castles. Adelbert went to his friend who was the son of the Duke of Poland. In this country, he again converted many idolaters. On a mission trip to Prussia, he converted some of the inhabitants of Danzig. It was there that he met his death when a group of pagans attacked him. When he received the first blow, he thanked God for giving him the opportunity to suffer for him. Then the pagan priest, leading the idolaters, pierced his body with a two-headed lance, saying, Be joyous, then, since you want nothing more than to suffer for your Christ. It was April 23rd in the year 997. He was canonized in the year 999 by Pope Sylvester II. He is patron of both Poland and the Czech Republic.